Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Once again, somebody sent me a short video and they're trying to reduplicate this. Uh, hopefully I can do a little bit better with the greens and the reds. But they're missing one step and I think I know what step they're missing. We're gonna go ahead and rotate this 45 degrees and we're gonna go up to object and break it, uh, convert it to a curve, then take the shape tool and grab all these and convert them to a curve. And then we're gonna delete those inner two and then I'm going to go back to the tool and I'm going to elongate it a little bit. You need to do that with the pick tool and not the shape tool. Control D and make a duplicate. Move the center rotation there. Rotate it 45 degrees or excuse me, 90 degrees. You want them not quite touching. Control. Sometimes Corel does that. Control D. The center rotation is still there. Uh, we'll go 180. Control D. Now what you need to do is group these together. Control G, Control D. While holding down the shift key, bring that in. And what we're going to do, we're going to, well, we need to make it. Yeah, that's going to work. So what we're going to do now, we're going to group this together to make sure it's a group. So we can move it out of the way in just a minute. We're going to take the Smart Fill tool and have it on that green and just go there. This might not look good. I don't know why the color is not in the middle, but then we're going to take this and nudge it out of the way. That might look pretty cool. Now what you need, I think this is a step he's missing. If you group this together and then grab the interactive fill tool and swipe through it and then go to the radius, you get two circles. So what we need to do to eliminate that, let me make sure they're individual, they are. We need to combine these two, or combine those four. Now get the interactive fill tool, and you only get one circle. Put it in the middle, and you can do anything you want to, and then we're gonna, you know what, let's do a blue this time. It's almost too much blue, but you can, we want a little bit of blue, so we're gonna put a blue there. Uh, let's put another green here. Maybe even another green there. Let's add another blue. Let's add this blue right here. That didn't look too bad. Now control D and make a duplicate while holding down the shift key, bring it in where it's got two sets of colors. And then control D, control D, control D, control D. The last one's always going to be a little bit too little. And that's how you do it. I think I did a better job on this one, mine. Um, it actually appears that these lines are going into nothing. Uh, so you could play around with the thickness when you do it. But I think the problem they were having is they're grouping and not combining. Because combining is going to allow that to the interactive field tool to work. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.